Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Makana Man at YouTube. I bought a lot of model kits. I mean a lot of model kits. My house is filled with them. Long time wholesaler and store Hobby HQ has passed on the torch and I intend to thin this lot out at this year's model expo. Sandown Park, 16th to 18th of June, Springvale, hosted by a committee of model clubs and the IPMS Australia, the usual suspects. It's the biggest plastic hobby model event, on my calendar at least. Three days of displays, competitions, demonstrations, retail stores, and a great social occasion. 15 bucks a day for general emission, a heavy discounts for people contributing and entering. This year was a tad problematic, slower, smaller turnout, volunteers thinner and far smaller in number, quite tired, gaps in display and behavioral issues from some attendees. That did not affect my fun or activities. My experience is trading with the salt mine hobby shop among the other retailers on the outer hall of the venue. Stock specializing in garage kits, junk parts and incomplete kits for scratch builders, kit bashes and a small variety from sci-fi, mecha and military plus cheap tools. I was honored and privileged to be the sponsor of the science fiction movie and fantasy vehicles and equipment. A favorite category of mine, very competitive and one I've learned how to become a model judge. The other trade is made up of 50% other retailers such as Gundams Plus, Metro Hobbies, then fantastic tool suppliers, diecast, bookshops and a wargaming system. All of the shopping, photo booth function area, entry registration cafeteria was all along the outer walls of the venue and the entirety of the tables among the hall was dedicated to the competition and club displays. The system ran a bit differently this year. The website contained all the information regarding scrutineering categories and rules, which was up to you to figure out and fill out your own entry form, uh, bring in to pay the fee and be escorted or go to the table, set up your model and deposit your reference material in a box under the table. Entry occurred during the setup on Thursday and majority of Friday with display from Friday to Sunday. By 3 p.m. there would be the trophy ceremony and the chance to collect your model. Competition spans across three age groups of juniors, teenage, year intermediates and adult classes with a large number of categories across various aircraft, armor, civilian, bikes cars, wargaming, fantasy, sci-fi, Gundam, going around many different complexities, scales and errors to make it as fair as possible. Some are more competitive than others and it's not unusual for categories to be combined or split up over time due to interest. Unfortunately, I did not enter this year, but I do highly recommend if you have any interest or curiosity to check it out. Uh, the main benefit is much cheaper weekend access to the event. It's exciting and fun to show off your work and a great way to meet peers and make long life friends who have interest in subject matters. If you wish to become far more competitive or have a better understanding of the event or appreciation for model building, I would also recommend to put your hand up and volunteer for judging on the Friday night. From my experience, they're very accommodating. All you have to do is stay back after closing and they'll assign you to a more senior judge and assist you or assist them in judging and for you to learn about the process, what to look for and going through the categories and rules. If you did enter, you won't be judging the categories that you've been in. This would also be of a massive help to the event. 
Among all of these categories, there are tables that break up the spaces made up of the various hobby clubs across Melbourne and Australia. I've also experienced this by sending expression of interest and making a donation to a category. You'll be provided with a table to set up a display and tablecloth, show off all the club member models, and either educate about your subject of interest, do a theme or any other other interesting and creative way to show the activities of your club. A lot of these clubs will also be recruiting interest for membership or advertising some of the activities and events that they'll be doing throughout the year. Everybody is fairly easy, approachable to talk to and a fantastic opportunity to learn more. Unfortunately, I was incredibly busy and had issues setting up and getting transport in time to make it to the events to trade and only had limited time to browse the categories and models, thus the limited photos. I was always excited and very impressed with what was on show. Regardless of skill, the caliber of work and interest is always fascinating. I did my best but made a few acquisitions, sold about half of the bulk that I brought to the event, gifted this wonderful 40 year anniversary tote bag and two mugs, thank you very much. Overall a fairly positive and fantastic event, had a very good time and would love to come back next year and do it all over again as I've done so over the many years so far. Thank you very much for watching and as always until next time, stay tuned for further content and we'll catch you guys later. See ya.